What's up, Knee Replacement Support Group? Tony Maritato here. I wanna talk about canes because I'm realizing that you're not necessarily getting the instruction you need before you have your knee replaced on how to set up your cane, how to use the cane, what to do with the cane. So this video is the second video. If you haven't watched the video on walkers, go back and watch it. I'll put a link in, in up here somewhere, it'll slide out. But once you get past your walker, you progress to a cane typically. Some people just skip the cane all altogether. Um, but probably the main two things that I try to encourage everybody to understand about using a cane. One, the cane is not here to hold you up. The cane is not here to hold your body weight. The cane is just to touch. Touch, touch, touch the floor, touch the wall. The cane is just here for touching not for supporting. The other part is most commonly, you use the cane on the side opposite of the surgery. So if you had a right total knee replacement, you put the cane on the left-hand side, and I'm gonna explain why. But if you absolutely can't use the cane opposite your knee replacement, I'll show you a strategy that lets you use it on the same side, but maybe in a way that doesn't kind of throw off your gait cycle, which is the way you walk. So let's take a look. I've got two canes here with me today. I've got one, this is called a straight point cane. You can see it's just got a normal bottom. And then we've got a quad cane. It's got the four little prongs at the bottom. Most people are not gonna use this. This is a little bit heavy. It's a little bit clunky. Um, I just wanna give you a quick intro to the quad cane first. And, and probably the most important part of the quad cane is the bottom. So if you notice, this side is straight across this side kind of juts out a little bit if i had a knee replacement on the left knee and i want to use the cane in the right hand this cane depending on which way i grip the handle if i'm gripping the handle in this manner this cane is set up to be used on the left side of my body so what i would need to do is i would need to switch these guys around everyone's going to be a little bit different but the way this one works is you you've got this little clip so i unclip it i've got these two little i don't know what you call them i turn them pivot it and let those spring-loaded guys pop back out now i lock it in place and now we have a right-handed quad cane when i'm setting my cane up in terms of height the idea here is that if I was standing just nice and straight, nice and tall, I relax my hand by my side. The cane, there's a little bump on the outside of your wrist, right above where a wristwatch would go, depending on where you wear your watch. That little bump should basically line up with the middle of the cane handle. At least that's the way I like to start. It can always be modified. So in this case, I'm gonna adjust the cane set it back down and now you can see i'm pretty much right on here's that little bump there's the handle of the cane if i rest my hand on the cane it's comfortable there's a little bit of bend in the elbow i'm not up here i'm not bent over i'm just kind of in this neutral position and so again assuming that it's a left knee replacement whether i'm using a quad cane or a single point cane the typical sequencing is the surgical side leg and the cane move forward together, and then the non-surgical leg pulls all the way through. So cane and surgical leg, the non-surgical leg pulls through. I'm gonna switch, uh, switch canes up. I'm gonna go to what most of you guys are gonna use, and I'm just gonna do a demo walk all the way down, all the way back, so you can kind of see what it looks like. We're assuming that my left leg is my replaced side. And so I gotta adjust this one real quick, shorten it up just a touch. <clears throat> if I'm standing here, lines right up, comfortable at the wrist. So I take my step, surgical side, cane, step through. Surgical side, step through.
And so like we've said, the cane isn't used to support and lean on. If you need that kind of support, you have to stay with the walker. The walker is sturdy and designed for you to press down on. The cane is just a touch point. It's touching the ground, it's widening your base of support, it's giving your brain and your nervous system that feeling of more stability without the actual downward force of leaning into it. I can't tell you how many clients have mistakenly using, used a cane like a crutch or a walker to press down into and then they resultingly get wrist problems, elbow problems, shoulder problems. So the cane is just for touch. And that's why a lot of people just kind of forgo the cane. They don't even use it. They go straight from the walker, they touch the walls and the furniture and they go straight to just unassisted walking. But now you know, the cane is typically used opposite of the surgical leg. The cane is set to that little bump on the wrist if you're standing tall and your arms are relaxed and then you have a little elbow bend when your hand is on the cane. And the cane is just there to touch the ground, to give you that feedback, that sensory information to say, hey, okay, I'm stable, everything is comfortable. If you have more questions about cane, walker, any kind of assistive device, post them in the comments. If you're not already subscribed, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell. I'm gonna keep putting out content specific to your knee replacement rehabilitation because I feel like the more you understand about your surgery and your condition, the better your recovery will go. Guys, as always, thanks for watching. I'll catch you in the next video.